Jesus Christ, Jaeger. Were you there the whole time? Yes. What the fuck is going you, on, you, huh? Your fucking dinner got cold and spoiled and eaten by fucking flies. Well, if you really knew your father, you would know I hate Wagyu anyways. Might as well feed it to the fucking dogs, Jaeger. Bullshit, you hate Wagyu. No, bullshit. It's the most overrated meat on the fucking planet. I'd rather have a ha cheeseburger from McDonald's. Yeah, you literally refused to eat expensive stuff because you had a fucking food poisoning from a duck burger. Wagyu is disgusting. It tastes like I'm eating butter. And what's going on? Why are you lashing out? For Come on, talk to me. I'm not lashing out. You're just an asshole. How am I an asshole, Jaeger? Because you're always busy. Jaeger, you're always busy. When I call you, son, we're just busy men. No, no, I'm never busy. I just ignore you. Oh, why? Because you're an asshole. Why am I an asshole? Because I'm an asshole because I'm busy, but you ignore me when I'm not busy. What? You literally just said it yourself. Listen, all right? Look, I already told you what the fuck is going on up there. How do you not remember? You haven't. You didn't tell me shit. Yeah, you said you wanted to show something to me, and then you left to rob a bank with someone. No, we blew somebody up at Burger Shot with a car bomb. You forget this already? What did that have to do with anything? That's why I didn't get to show you. We got in the middle of some deep shit. No, I don't. Are you talking about the time I gave you the bomb? Yes. I was. I was told like, you and Bjorn that I'm turning the basement into a heroin operation. I already told you this. What does that have to do with the winery? Yeah, girl, what's the name of the winery? I don't know. Oh, you never asked? I don't even... Do you own the winery? Yes. I didn't know that until yesterday. It's literally called Hero Wine, Jaeger. What? Yes. Oh. Yes. I am starting a massive heroin operation. Oh, Mickey should have not given us ketamine. Oh, Mickey's fucked. Lie. He's absolutely fucked. I hope you understand that. Oh, man, that is bad for yeah, you. Yeah, that is really fucking bad. Because people saw that. Yeah, I'm aware. Now, here's the thing. This whole tray in the barrel shit, I don't give a fuck about the barrel. You guys could have just asked. I would have given you a barrel. We have like 50 barrels at the cellar right now that are empty. Could have just grabbed 10 of them if you wanted. Bjorn... The, the reason we didn't ask for a barrel is because no one fucking wanted a barrel. Only Bjorn did because we banned him from Milky Mountains. All right, but you understand I have to fire Trey now, correct? Look, okay, look. I, I, I talked to Eve about this, and I don't think she fully understands or she is refusing to understand the issue. What is the I issue? Am not, I am not stupid. I understand... That it is more than just Trey selling a fucking empty wine barrel. It, the, the fact that Trey did it is a security risk, and you do not yes. want security risk at this place, okay? I yes. can understand that. But Eve is refusing to understand that she could have just not told you this and not told anyone this, and nothing would have happened. But since she did... And Trey is fired because of Bjorn. Now we have someone who knows about our bench with something to dislike us for. For no reason. C can you understand that part? I can't understand that part. What, you want me to rehire him? I'll do it for you, son. It's, it's not th the whole point, right? I it's nothing to do with you. My frustrations are with Eve. Because she is not understanding that for almost no reason, 
She is putting our bench at risk. Is there is the not bench? a zero. There is not a zero percent chance that Trey would fuck us over. It's not zero. Oh, it's definitely it's, not zero. It's definitely like I'd say like fifteen, maybe even higher than that. All of this, we have a we have a real, real fucking chance to have someone tell people, especially Trey, who has a big fucking mouth already, that we sell silencers and we make them because of an empty fucking wine barrel. So, so let me ask you this then: Why? Why? Listen, I I understand where you're coming out, coming from, from Eve, but uh, shouldn't Bjorn? Take some blame for this too, then, for acting reckless yes. or what? Here's the thing, okay? Bjorn is stupid and is lashing out because I killed all the cows on Tony's farm because he can't get Milky Mountains. So he is attempting to hide the barrel from us. That's why he didn't ask anyone for it. Okay? It's not Bjorn's fault. That he's addicted to milky fucking mountains. It's a fucking addiction. But the fact that Trey getting fired is Bjorn's fault for asking for it. And Trey and Zay know that we are very close to you. So in their minds, Lang probably won't fucking care if they have a barrel. This empty fucking wine barrel. Who the fuck cares? Okay, Zay None of all this people is... should know what the fuck's going on. Nigger, listen, if this was four weeks into the future and this happened, one of those barrels could have been literally packed to the brim with fucking heroin. I get that, all right? I'm not saying what Trey, Trey and Zay did isn't stupid. It is, all right? It is a security risk. Wait, wait, I, what's, what's I, Zay, I am I, with you 100%. I need to know how Zay is involved. Did he assist Trey in this? I have no fucking clue. I didn't even know about the barrel until we found it in the fucking store. The, the the point is that we risked someone fucking over our bench for an empty fucking wine barrel. I'm not I'm not mad at anyone. I'm not mad at you. I'm frustrated at Eve for not understanding this. And when I try to talk to her about it, she walks away. I don't fucking care that Eve is telling you shit over the guild. Even though we told her that you know, the guild comes first or we'll fucking kill you like we killed Meow Furion. All right. To, listen, to be fair, I, I've told you guys from day one that uh, you guys will never, ever... Listen, me, me and Eve, we go way back. I, I don't think you guys ever took me seriously when I told you guys this. I, of course, listen, Eve is your CEO and she's important to you. Yeah, we, we don't care Eve, about that. Eve, we we like that. We've always been way more than that. She, she, she's, she's like my right-hand woman, pretty much. Yeah, that, and that's fine. We, we, we're not trying to take that away from you. And, and again, uh, I, I mean, fuck, we have fucking bombs in our necks. I, I trust you with my life and you should know everything we do. All right? But the point is, it's not just you that knows about this. This is a whole thing. And Eve is okay with the chance of our bench being fucked over for this empty wine barrel that Trey would never do for anyone else other than us, probably. Yeah, but doesn't that, if Trey's willing to expose one of your biggest secrets over a fucking barrel, shouldn't, you know, you just ice the guy? Yeah, but we didn't tell him the shit. What do you mean? He, he, we've never told Trey we do this shit. It is just shit. He is, he, me, me and Denzel had a talk about this. And when you work with Denzel, like Trey does, he's going to find that shit out. It's, it's just, you know, and I'm pretty sure Barry is the biggest idiot ever. And just goes into the store when Trey asks for a silencer and then comes out with it. So, he, he, he knows. Trey's not fucking stupid. But we don't tell this shit to Trey. Trey's close to us, but he's not the guild. And if Trey gets fired from this shit, and 
the only person he has to blame is Bjorn because it is Bjorn's fault. It could come back on us for, again, seemingly no fucking reason. That is what I'm frustrated with. Trey has a big fucking mouth. Okay. Um. And all I'm saying is that all of this could have been prevented if we just didn't make it an issue. I understand that, that the security of this place is important. I get that. I really fucking do. But I think if we refuse to acknowledge that the guild asking Trey for a barrel is probably different than anyone else, that we're creating problems when there don't need to be. And I, mean, I can see what you're Mickey, saying from that. Mickey didn't sell us uh, ketamine either. It's no we went up to the ever. winery. Mickey's already he fine. He didn't. He gave it to us. He. This is what happened. It, it doesn't matter if he gave it to you, if he sold it to you, if he stored it with you. The fact, if, if, if Mickey's doing drug-related shit at an operation that's supposed to hide drugs we're about to introduce to the city, it's uh, it's a problem. Yeah. I mean, like I said, we we went up there and parked our fucking rover and we're waiting for them and he came up and dropped some ketamine. <laughs> He did say, a, does Trey's, anyone want to buy some ketamine, though? Trey's not even a problem compared to what Mickey just did. I'm not going to lie to you. All I'm saying is that that's the only reason I have an issue, is we risked our bench for fucking nothing, in, in my mind. It, like, there's nuance to it, obviously, but when you really break it down, it's we risked our bench being exposed for an empty wine barrel. I, I get now that you have a drug business in this in this thing and that the barrels can be filled with heroin like i i get this now but and that is an issue the, the, the thing is let's pretend for a second there was a cop there or a wrangler or an undercover or something if they raided the wine cellar they would literally find the tunnel that leads into the basement wait what yes tunnel goes from the basement to out here no 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 to the cellar the cellar behind the wiener shop at roosters that goes to the winery what the fuck no that goes to the basement oh and the cellar is there filled with barrels and the idea is is we're going to be sneaking oh, barrels fuck. out of the basement that are filled with heroin into the cellar to transport to you know whatever the fuck we sell it to in the future it's things we're still figuring out but that's the idea And if anybody even puts it at 1% risk, like, you know how important that basement is to me, Edgar. Yeah, sure, it yeah. may be dead and we never use it anymore, but the history is still there, forever will be there. Yeah, I get that. Now, if you do miss me and you want to hang out more, you just got to give me a call, son. I'm always down to involve you in anything that I'm doing, no matter what, no matter where. You want to help me make some heroin? We can make some heroin together. You can't be doing this crazy shit. What, what crazy shit? Parking, Just lashing out, freaking me out, breaking your fucking phone. I have to hunt you down, think you're about to fucking kill somebody. Well, you said you'd be 20 minutes. Yeah, I was about 26 minutes. I was six minutes late, all right? How am I supposed to know that? When you're not here in 20 minutes, I'm just going to think you forgot again. I didn't forget, son. I'm a very busy man. I got Dean calling me. I got Eve calling me. I got Harry calling me. I got Alex wanting to leave Rooster's Rest. I got Alex and Penny fucking drama. I got Mickey drama. I got Dean trying to overreact. I got my son overreacting. I got Trey doing some dumb shit. I got my security team was more incompetent than the police force. I got a lot going on, Yanga. Well, Uncle T also forgot about Bjorn. Oh, don't you even start. You motherfuckers. I don't even... I love Tony with all my heart, but if you think for a second that Tony was ever a good father to Bjorn, you got something wrong. Well, Bjorn thinks that Goofy is his new son. That, honestly, might... I wouldn't argue against that. Tony adores Goofy. Well, I'm going to kill him. 
Goofy? I'm going to plant fucking car bombs in a stupid fucking car. Listen, I would love to kill Goofy, but we can't, Jaeger. Why? Because that's Tony's boy. So? And Bjorn's Tony's son. Yeah, and you don't think there's another way to pass this up other than just senselessly killing his best friend or whatever? Uncle T drove by Bjorn at the rooster and didn't say anything. <laughs> so we have a nice little intervention. We call Tony up and we tell him he needs to start treating his son with more love and respect. And apparently you drove by Bjorn and called him a cocksucker and then left. Um, when? A couple days ago. Uh, I drove by Bjorn once in a little white car and said, hey, Bjorn. I kept driving because I was getting chased by cops. You said, hey, cocksucker. Oh, is that what I said? Something like that. I'm pretty sure I said, hey, Bjorn. I, all of this is whatever, all right? I get it. You're busy. Whatever. I don't care. I don't freaking care. Okay? Important Listen, thing I'm here busy, is... but if you actually wanted to do things, Jaeger, you will always have a place to do anything that I am doing. You just got to ask me. Okay. Right? What are you doing? I'm trying to build a heroin empire. Okay. How do I help? Uh, we probably have to kill Mickey. Want to do that okay. for a time? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. We don't gotta kill him, but I gotta we gotta handle this Mickey problem. And if you, you truly wanna help me bomb. if you truly wanna help me run this operation there, you just gotta let me know. But just know this ain't gonna be no fuck around shit. I'm taking this very seriously. Okay, then let's kill Mickey. I have two new bombs we could do. Do you want the, 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 the Mickey the situation? I gotta, I gotta fucking I gotta figure out. I, I don't know what to do about it, if I'm being honest. I'm not gonna kill Mickey though. That's one of my best friends. But it, it is gonna be a hard conversation to have with him because uh Okay, so you fire Trey for giving us a barrel, but Mickey, the drug seller at the heroin parking lot? Oh, that's what I'm saying. He's probably going to get fired, but you got to understand, Trey is cannon fodder. He's, he's uh, expendable. He, he, he's nothing to me. Uh, Mickey, you know, we, for months we have planned him being one of the lead heads of the operation. It's a very different matter. Right. Yeah. For months you chained this guy. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I mean, Ski was uh, was an idea I had in, in mind to, you know, prep Mickey for uh, what was to come. The months of chaining you gave this guy led him to walk up to us in a parking lot at the winery and say, hey, anyone want to buy some ketamine? Yes, now you see how big of the problem this is and what I have to deal with. That's why when I have my son lashing out at me instead of just talking to me, it just makes things worse for me, Edgar. I got little kids everywhere oh. I got to keep in line. Well, all I know is that Apparently, you yelled at Eve for having for for Bjorn or someone being at the winery. Yes. You aren't doing anything. Well, it's not. It's not that you guys are at the winery. Is I know how it's gonna go, right? Eve brings the guild. Oh, Eve, you need some help with this shit. You guys start helping out. I I can't have that. I, I need people who are up there to work <laughs> and to work only. If you want to come visit, come visit. I don't give a shit. But I know how Bjorn is. He wants to get his hands in everything. And Eve is his, you know, guild member. Oh, yeah, start picking grapes, Bjorn. But there's a system to this. There's, there's a way this is all being built. It's not just, hey, get a group of friends, come up here, let's pick, pick some grapes. It's just not how it's going to work, Jaeger. That Listen, that's fine, okay? I get it. Now that I know it's, you know, that I understand. I didn't know that. I thought you were just, you know, you just didn't want people there, and that pissed me off. Because we're not some random fucking group of people. The reason why I didn't want random people showing up, you know, it's kind of funny because uh, Mickey proved my point. Gil shows up, comes to hang out. Mickey dumb fuck bozo, starts selling ketamine in the parking lot. It starts turning into a hangout spot where motherfuckers think they can do whatever the fuck they want when in reality it's a place to work. Yeah, I get that. I mean, Eve and Stag were very adamant about us not coming and that pissed me off, so I brought everyone. Yeah, and it sounds like you guys can't work there. If you guys want to work and help out, by all means, but uh, then we got to talk about, uh, you know, how that's going to work. Yeah. God, listen, all right? We're stressed to you, all right? What are you stressed about? Well, I don't know. We're going to start pushing turf in Chimash. I got to have Jesus give me a flag. Jesus. 
You're really going to go for that lifestyle, huh, Jaeger? Yes. Right? And we're still thinking of names. Okay, is, is, and, uh, and, and, and we're thinking of all the names, too, and that's stressful as well. Is Reset still happening? Yes. Okay, because I'm, I'm working on a very cool suit, Jaeger, and if it don't happen, I'm going to be very upset. I mean, it's happening, but I mean, it's... I'm trying to get in touch with the Puppet Master because without, without getting in touch with him, it, it's really hard to, like, find out what's causing shit, you know? What do you mean? Like, it, I don't know what is just shit happening, right? Like, for example, okay, Here, here's the goal. The goal is to get in contact with the Puppet Master. Uh, I do know that boosting has gone off the fucking rails lately, and people are just shooting cops every time they get caught. Uh, and that is making shit fucking worse for anyone doing boost. I don't know if you've noticed, but apparently there are cops going, like, maximum capacity for, like, C boost and shit. That is something we would focus on. But how the fuck do we figure out who's doing it? And the only way I can really think of it without making it obvious that we're asking people what's happening is getting in touch with the puppet master and using his network to like kind of see that shit, you know? I can probably arrange to sit down with the puppet master, to be honest. It'll take some time, though. That's hey, what check, I'm saying. Check, like, check your email. I'll send you a sneak peek. Holy shit. That's fucking badass, huh? Holy shit, yeah, it is. Hell yeah. But, but here's the point, right? Like, yes, this shit's happening. We wouldn't have started if we were going to bitch out, right? But the, the thing is, it's harder than we realize to really find out who's doing shit, right? Like I said, uh, apparently this boosting shit is an issue. And we got to find out who's doing it, you know? It, we can't just go up to the newspaper and see someone going in for X amount of months and... And figuring this shit out, right? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to figure out. Uh, listen, this is my advice. It's better to keep, you know, the crosshairs on the cops and the DOJ. But listen, if you want to go after other people, I will assist. But, uh, you know, I, you know, it's it's going to be a lot of headache. Or like a lot. I mean, yeah, it will be. But that's... It will be a fucking headache. It absolutely will be a fucking headache. But we can't make change unless we take that headache, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I mean, we're, I, I'm curious to see how this goes. But just know that I'm mostly in it to make sure you stay alive and to really uh, help you out. I, if, you know, if it's anything to do with the cops, DOJ, I'm there for you. But anything else, you know, I'm there to make sure you stay alive. Yeah, I get that. But like I said, it's, you know, it's hard to, to figure shit out. The, the number one thing we're looking at right now is the boosting but finding out individually who's doing this shit like you know it's hard and we need the puppet masters fucking phone dongle network or some shit to figure that shit out I'll, I'll uh, try anyway to, i'll try to arrange to sit down with them all right other than that uh we should have a talk real quick uh R ray is saying some real stupid shit emperor like why well, uh, God, so Ray went up to Nicholas Simone. I don't know if you've met him. Have you? Uh, maybe, but maybe in passing. It's Michael's brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went up to Nicholas Simone and said, hey, are you Mick Simone? And Nick said, no, I'm not. He's my brother. And then Ray said, oh, that's good, because if you were, I would have had to kill you. So I'm going to let you assume what that meant for Nicholas and what that means for us. Listen, I love Ray. I love Ray with all my heart, but that is his problem. I, I try to speak to him. If he doesn't want to listen to me and he wants to jump down that rabbit hole and have everybody in the city at his neck, that is maybe the only way he'll learn. I've had people call me saying that they've 
think Ray wants to kill Michael. And yeah, once again, not my problem. I've already tried to speak to him. Yeah. It's uh it's getting to the point where I don't know if you're gonna be able to help Ray. Oh, like I said, if uh, if this comes down on him and it's the only way he'll learn, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I mean, what do we do with Ray? Like, obviously, obviously, Ray has some sort of closeness to us, but if he's threatening to kill Michael, it's not just us that are going to try to hurt him. It's going to be everyone. I'll speak to Ray. Let me let me handle that problem. Okay, I'll handle it. All right. Uh, I mean, you can try. I guess if Ray's going around saying that shit, one, I'm not gonna let Michael get hurt. I would rather kill Ray than kill Michael. Yeah, I understand that. I will speak to him. All right. I'll, I'll have, have one last conversation with him, and then whatever happens, fucking happens, I ain't getting involved. All right. All right. Now I got to go handle some more drama. But listen, if you want to get involved in this shit, you give me a call. I will get you involved. But by my own terms, and that doesn't mean the entire guild gets involved here, because no disrespect, you recruit a lot of cringe people in your guild. Who's cringe other than Barry? Uh, well, Barry's definitely one. That's pretty much all I got, honestly. Okay. Well, yeah, Barry's cringe. Everyone knows Barry's cringe. Yeah. Barry's good though. Barry's not stupid. No, I like Barry. Barry's a good guy. I'm just fucking with you. Listen, are we good? Anything else? Yeah, we're fine. I just the, the issue really stems from Eve really not understanding, and I don't know why she doesn't understand this because she knows about our bench that this leading back to Bjorn was a whole thing over an empty wine barrel. And I guess she had yeah, the knowledge that Eve, there's heroin involved, right? I, I understand she, that She's now. also aware of the basement, Jaeger. What do you mean aware of the basement? I brought it down there. Yeah, but does she know about the reason there's a basement? Uh, I kind of briefly spoke about it, but not too much in depth, no. But she's aware of how big of a secret that was, uh, you know, for me and how you know, long it's been a secret for her. Look, at the end of the her. day, I, I don't care if Eve is more loyal to you than she is to the guild because you're, you know, essentially a part of the guild. But yeah, I'm the at least that's bitch. the way we view you. But the the issue I'm having is even if she is more loyal to you, she can't over the seem like a slight a a slight uh, disconvenience to you could have been a major fucking disaster for us. It could no have reason. been a major fucking disaster for me too, Jaeger. Yeah, but your major fucking disaster is like a much lower chance to happen. Trey's not going to fucking give a wine barrel to anyone other than the guild. Because Trey, for whatever reason, considers uh, Denzel like a brother to him. And Denzel is family to us. But if, when, when something bad happens to Trey, right? If everything's neutral, nothing would ever happen, and then I truly believe that. But when things start going negative, and he has a reason to fuck us over, who the fuck knows what would happen? Yeah, you're right. Oh, I gotta call you to start the harvest. One second. Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm, fucking heroin. 